Hello guys. Well, I got a new package. I made a small little card with some mobility scooter motors. The welds are pretty baked on, but <laughs> they did do hold, so that's fine. And do have a pulse with modulation motor drive. This thing. Just popped it back together. Yeah, okay. And these things. A small pot meter on it. So I hope that this thing is capable of handling those two. Because of they are 15 amps each at 24 volts. And this one should be around 30 amps. So yeah, should be able to, but I'm not sure. Now why did I get the driver? Uh, where did I have it? Right there. This way it's... It's a bit too aggressive of course, <laughs> but it's obvious. So yeah. Uh, I already took it apart of course. There's a little bit of bubble wrap under it. So yeah. Okay, so I'll just put some wires on it. I use two batteries. So 24 volts. Because if I <laughs> really don't think this thing can handle 42 volts. So I'll first try 24. So one second. Okay, I got it wired. Uh, now it's running on 32 volts. Now 36. Yeah, around that. It's just simple with thin wire, so yeah, it's not a max power and everything. But at least now. can let it move slowly. It has plenty of power. So yeah, it's good. Uh, I still should find something for the stair because if this sucks, as you can see, that's not good. But that's, yeah, it's not st straight. It wants to fall over, so, yeah. At least I have it working now. It's better done with the, the wire. Striking it and arcing and everything. So, yeah. So, I'll have a test drive then, eh? Okay, it's all rigged up. Uh, I did change the steering, so now it just stays where it is, so it's better. Well, it does work now. As you can see. And it's running with, uh, 48 volts now. So it has some... It's pretty aggressive. It's real thick. Remove that brake. No. Did I just put them on? Uh, down, so up. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget the brakes though. And why I melted it. I was trying to drive with one brake on. The wire just melted, so. Yeah. So you can figure out the seat or something. Okay. Pretty hard driving. You can get it one hand. It's pretty 
first. Okay, so well, as you could see, it was pretty fast, so that ain't bad. But once again, I was driving it in, I forgot to turn off the brakes. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Smoke everywhere, of course, sparks, and yeah. Not good. Of course, those wires are way too thin for this application, of course. So I, I well so these wires are already melted. So yeah. Not, not good. But however, instead of manually using this brake, folks please. We just have two wires over here. Which if you put power on these, I try 12 volt and that works. If you put 12 volt on, volt on it to release brake, just like doing it like that so it's free to move or you move the power so if for instance the batteries go dead or terminal shorted or anything it will just will break down instantly just like that and same is for this side so that has pretty good brakes then a bit abrupt, but it are brakes, so that's fine. <laughs> I think they'll don't last long. Because normally you would brake the engine, the motor. A bit sharp. We have to short it. This all make resistance. But of you, of course, you can only short them when the driver is off so I might look into something like that the switch so pretty heavy so yeah so then I will need the controller to only yeah only when you want to give gas then you put the control on if you put and turn it off uh, to set correctly yeah if you turn it off then it would power relay which would short these two it will already slow down and for the main stop I think yeah just depower these then it will really break hard so just turn the knob down all the way down it will break slowly and with the power release then it will stop abruptly so that would be good I guess but yeah the pulse rate modulation device, the module, it is strong enough. Come on, out the back. It did survive it two times, running at that high current. So yeah, it is pretty powerful. Little pulse rate modulation motor driver. So now I've got to figure a way to mount this on the stair. Uh, the stair is that's good now. Doesn't fall over again, so that's great. It is a bit higher, but well. So uh, yeah, that's it for today, I guess. It's a pretty fun project, I guess. So uh, see ya.